And we're back. What's up, guys? What's going on? No, and I still don't want your free crap. No. Huh, free solitaire. Hmm, sounds intriguing. Huh, you kind of see this, uh, tutorial game here that they supply you with. Um, within the software, they do have about, what, like two tutorials? Um, I think like two or three different games that they supply you with. Just to kind of show you how to, uh, and basically use Game Maker, but, eh, I don't know, they're a bit iffish, they're not really all that fun. Like, they, uh, show you fundamentals, but you can basically learn half of this stuff on your own. So, as you saw previously, um, the little stick guy, he was just a filler. So we're not going to use this guy. Um, I think what we're, we're going to do is we're probably just going to go ahead and custom make a stick figure here in MS Paint. But, um... Yeah, so that's about, um, 10.55 here. It's, uh, pretty peaceful. I don't know, if you ask me, I think, uh, working in the evening is just so much more relaxed. You know, you, you don't really have much of a quota to really feel. You know, you sort of, you know, it's kind of do your own thing. So, I think this will be our margin here, because we have to set a margin so that every um, space itself will be proportional. So let's just go ahead and... Uh, <sighs> so, yeah. I would recommend getting Game Maker. It's, it's actually pretty fun. Um, the game that we're making right now really isn't all that complex. It's very simple to make. And, um, and of course, the game itself is named... Quest of the Maze Runner, and, I don't know, I wanted to just say, you know, Maze Runner, but it just sounds so generic or used, like, it sounds like it's been used somewhere before, and, I don't know, just not really quite sure whether I want just, you know, plain Maze Runner or Quest of the Maze Runner. But, I'm sure we'll figure it out. So, um, basically we can make a little title screen here, because there will be a loading screen. It's going to go into, uh, Microsoft Word here. Starting up. So, wow, um, what am I doing? Word art. God. Eh, so basically you just want to choose something that you kind of like. I don't know. Like, word art is kind of, hmm, not really a big fan of word art. Like, you can basically draw something better than you can do word art. Like, let's see, some 3D rotation here. Nah. Hmm, tilts it upwards a little bit here. I'm not sure what to call this. Like, this really isn't an LP. I should probably come up with like, a different name, but, I don't know, like, this doesn't, seem or feel like an LP to me. Um, I'm not sure what to use for the loading screen. Like, we could probably just go ahead and use this for now. Quest of the Maze Runner, just kind of have like a stick figure. Uh, just as a another filler. Let's go ahead and go back. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so, we can go ahead and go into, uh, global game settings after we exit that out. God. So, how many of you guys use Game Maker? Just curious. Um, don't really run into many people who know what Game Maker is. And again, I've heard of RPG Maker, but, eh. Just, um, no, the thing is, is that when I heard of RPG Maker, 
I had just gotten Game Maker. I'm like, uh, well, I'm kind of used to Game Maker now. And I was kind of like, uh, should I really make the switch to <coughs> go out of the way to achieve the RPG Maker? And again, I've heard some, you know, good and some bad things about it. So as you can see here, here's a health gauge that I've made. As you've seen in the previous video, it had about two coding scripts, and um, here they are. Because when you look in the room, let me back out here. When you look in the room, there's nothing there. There's there's no um, border. There's no gauge. Jizz, plural. <laughs> Well, basically what I did here <coughs> is, alright, here's HP, right? So, we got our HP, we got uh, 100 here, value, okay? So that means our HP is set to a quantity of 100, as it should be. Defense, same thing, 100. Well, um, not having the rectangle as the border is just sort of, seems a bit empty. Just, you know, just having gauges but nothing surrounding it just seems a bit, eh. Um, and as I said, I would explain this. I guess the best time to do it is now. Um, actually, I could probably just go ahead and explain it while I make the next one, actually. So let's go ahead and copy this over. Because I'm going to have three of these. Let's see, let's go ahead and make another variable. So you can make as many of these as you want, which is uh, pretty convenient. Um, I'm gonna name this one keys, because basically you're gonna um <coughs> during your adventure you will collect keys that you'll need to progress. Now it does sound like a Zelda game almost, but it really isn't. Um, there are different type of keys you um and you can use the same key more than once depending on the durability of the key. So really, it just depends. So, basically what this thing, because you can kind of see it down here, this is the outline. Let me show. Uh, basically, whenever you get ready to make a code, because you probably won't remember all of these in your head, but you have to at least have an idea of what you want. So, draw underscore, and it should come up. Here it is, health bar. Well, you already see the arguments here that you have. Or here, x1, y1, and so on. The amount is basically the amount of health that you want. But since we've stated earlier, up here, we've stated that HP is equal to 100. Go down to draw. And... I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go here, because this is the actual... So, here's HP. As you can see, this is bold, because this is the argument that we're working in right now. Um, which are separated by um, commas. So, basically, uh, we have the amount. HP is equal to 100. So, you can basically set... You can set numbers and quantities equal to letters and, and other sort of values. Which is pretty useful. So, if I want to, I could probably set true equal to the letter Q um, somewhere previously and just put Q um, now of course the most reasonable thing to do would, would be able to set true for T and set false for F but I don't know, there's really no need to do that and this is a waste of space so. basically here is the amount this is the background color so obviously for a gauge we're going to do black like we can do any color we want to um, minimum color is basically your health depleting because the gauge color will change depending on how much health you have. So that's a pretty useful feature in itself. Um, maximum color just as it says, so naturally green for health. Um, direction is the direction that it will deplete in and basically fill in. So if you know your, um, your different angles, Zero. Uh, and, I don't know, basically show back and show borders. You basically want all that to be true, true, so. Um, now for these, these arguments here, 
what I could have done was just exclude the view underscore y view or view underscore x view and just put the quantity, or not quantity, but the um, the coordinates. Um, but that would not fix it to the camera because when we move we want to <laughs> the gauge to move with us. So we're going to go ahead and um, see same thing here because we also have a rectangle for the border. Um, and yes, I do have two of these uh, these object players simply because of a thing that I'll show you later that will often happen. Um, sure, there is a way to fix it. Sure, it's very easy to do, but um, to fix efficiently and quickly, um, basically just make a copy of the new one and delete the old one. So actually, I'm just going to delete this right now then, because there's no need to have it. Yes. Wait. What? Save changes? No. Um. Okay. Well then. Um, yes, we're going to add music, which I'll actually make my own custom music. I'll also show that. We're going to go downstairs here into the basement. And, um, basically I'll pull out my, uh, uh, I think it's Yamaha piano. And basically we're just going to forge some tunes here and import it into the game. Um, background is green. So, we have like a barman effect going here. Um, so yeah. Um, for the most part, that's what we're going to do. So we have our loading screen for now, the filler, the crappy filler. And, again, we have an error. You'll often have an error if you have a code that's incomplete. This, this is the error, because I was showing you how to do that. So... I don't know what happened, I had two of the same code running at once. I wonder if I just had two gauges overlapping each other. Yeah, I guess I do, huh? But there's no way to really tell unless you change the variable. So yeah, hmm. Interesting. So yeah, this basically looks like something off of Bomberman. Uh, <laughs> the way that the, uh, the background looks with the blocks and... Yeah, Barman was a pretty good game, like, n not many people know what Barman is, which is very, I don't know, it's very, ugh. Like, saying that you don't know what Barman is, is kind of saying, like, what, <coughs> who is Bomberman versus who is Mega Man, you know? Like, basically, you know, classics, you can't really know who who Mega Man is without knowing who Bar Man is because they basically came out around the same time I'd imagine or close to it um... let's see Mega Man came out for the NES and then I believe Bar Man also came out for NES did it not? I know it was on Turbo Graphics 16 so I don't know, sort of debating what I want to do here, because actually we could just go ahead and just work within the file here, and just go straight to it, or we could um, completely make it out of game, and work like this, but thing is, we're not actually sure how big this file is, go ahead and see, well, yeah, let's just go and do it, okay, let's load sprite. Of course, you start me off in a random directory that I do not care for. Okay, and it's going to be dramatically larger. Um, okay. Did I? No, 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 no. Okay, well then. Um, I guess that is our new sprite. I meant to add to the subframe, but apparently it went ahead and took it upon itself to replace itself. Um, okay, no big deal. And of course you can always scale it, so... What time am I up to, actually? I never really checked what time I was up to. So, yeah. 